This is Ed with RoofingFoil.com and I'm calling this the proof video. In this video I'm going to use thermal imaging to show exactly how much heat the roofing foil all in one underlayment and radiant barrier, how much heat it reflects underneath a metal or a tile roof. Now the roof must have an airspace so this is typically going to be uh, standing seam metal roofs or steel coated shingles or barrel tiles, usually roofs that have a batten system. There are some products out there that have a higher profile that mechanically attach directly to the deck that still have that airspace and they'll work fine also. If you don't fully understand why you must have an airspace, check out my other video on why a radiant barrier will never work directly under shingles without that airspace. It's really important for you to understand that so you don't do something wrong. Now let me set up this video. I've got a standard OSB roof deck and I've got four different uh, stations here. The first one, we have no underlayment. This is kind of the test. The second one, just a standard synthetic roofing underlayment. The third one is the roofing foil all-in-one underlayment and radiant barrier. In fact, you may be able to see it's already turning a little red here. That's from reflecting the heat from the lights above me. Finally, we have our standard uh, black tar paper product underlayment over here. Now, <clears throat> what I've done, I've got little half inch foam spacers, and that's going to represent the airspace between the roof and the underlayment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, heat up these bricks to 190 degrees, so they're going to be about as hot as any typical roof ever gets. We're going to put each hot brick on each one and see what happens after about 10 minutes. We're going to take up the bricks, take up the underlayments, and you're going to see just how much heat has transferred into the roof deck under each product. You're really going to be surprised when you see this. Okay, I am back with the hot bricks. I'm going to place each one on the spacers. Give it about 10 or 10 minutes or so and we'll come back and we'll take all these off and we'll be able to see with the thermal imaging camera the temperature of the roof deck underneath. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since we put these hot bricks um, over the different underlayment products. I'm going to take these up. The foam pieces are coming with them. And grab all the underlayments. those to the side. I'm going to take a quick look at the thermal imaging camera. Alright, you should be able to really tell the difference between the no underlayment, the uh, typical synthetic underlayment, and the, and the uh, tar paper were virtually identical and you can see here the, um, the roofing foil underlayment, virtually no heat transferred through. You may be able to see a little couple of spots where the foam pieces were, where you had a little bit of thermal bypass coming through, which is normal. And that would happen through the battens, there'd be some thermal bypass. But you can see just what a huge difference it makes as far as the amount of heat transfer into the roof deck. Typically the roof deck will be 20 to 40 degrees cooler underneath a roof with the radiant barrier than without a radiant barrier. Let me just show you something real quick. I'm going to put my hand right here and just hold that for a few seconds. This is after 10 minutes. The roof deck is so cool that when I put my hand there for about 10 seconds, you should be able to see a handprint from my hand. So it's just amazing how much heat is reflected. So if you're installing a metal or a tile roof, a radiant barrier is the only way to go. You only get one opportunity to do it right. For more information, visit roofingfoil.com.